Look, it's time to make it zero. Net zero carbon. Every project you're working on should be striving for this. When I look around Seattle where I live, almost no buildings are net zero carbon. When I look at AIA data nationally, very few buildings are meeting the 2030 challenge. And when I worked on Project Drawdown, I saw how few buildings globally achieve net zero. But the thing is, I work in a net zero carbon building. I live in a net zero carbon building. I know single family homes can make it to zero. Multifamily homes, schools, offices, even stadiums can make it to zero. Net zero carbon isn't that hard to achieve. You just have to want it. So I ask you, do you want it? What's holding you back? If you truly want it, you can make it to zero. The future is here, it just isn't widely distributed yet. Because we need to make all new buildings net zero carbon now, and we need to make all existing buildings net zero carbon before I retire. Think about that for a moment. How many buildings right now do you know that are net zero? Probably not very many. Action expresses priorities. 20th century mindsets need to be let go, like burning fossil fuels for heating and modernism is a cure-all. The 21st century needs architects of a zero carbon future. We need decarbonists rather than just modernists. Here are the three steps to zero. Three, decarbonize. Two, minimize. One, neutralize. And then to zero. To decarbonize means anything that burns fossil fuels has to be switched to electric. That includes fireplaces, heating equipment, dryers, stoves, etc. Heat pumps can replace most of this. You also need to reduce the embodied carbon of construction. To minimize means improving efficiency of envelopes, lighting, and other equipment. To neutralize means creating more energy from renewable sources than are consumed and adding regenerative solutions with natural carbon sequestration. We need you to lead every project to zero emissions. You have the power to help do all of these things. The average man is a conformist and accepts miseries and disasters with the stoicism of a cow standing in the rain. Refuse to be a conformist, refuse to accept the miseries and disasters of global warming, make it a priority, make it zero.